footsteps, laughing. I was definitely freaked out. Call for the elevator. And I saw a young boy watching me. He has these kind of dark brown trousers on, Oxford shirt with kind of this plaid print, belted. Young, very young, six or seven years old. Doesn't seem lost, doesn't wander around. And he was gone. It was this sense of someone's down here with me. Okay, now I'm alone down here. And she said, that's the custodian's son. He was the son of the custodian who used to live on site in the early 1900s. His apartment was down there, his office was down there, tools down there, and he lived there with his young son. Apparently, when the elevator was being tested, lived. The custodian who used to live on site is the man in the elevator. That's the story. It was just crazy, otherworldly. After hearing that story, I was definitely freaked out. I don't know whether people or spirits or energy gets trapped. I don't know, but they are sticking around. So I was kind of finished being at Gray's apartment. It really stopped being about a, the place where Mindy goes to write. <laughs>